All right, guys, this is my bar top retro pie system. It's a budget bar top. This is uh, my first build. It's actually me and my buddy built it together. My buddy did most of the work. I've been showing him uh, my retro pie, and he's, he really liked it. He's like, hey, we should build a bar top. And I was like, oh, yeah, sounds great. So he ordered most of the parts, and we got a, basically a budget bar top for a, a little over $100, very close to $100 for everything included. Uh, the main things was expensive parts was obviously the Raspberry Pi 3, which I actually got for free and I gave to him as a trade. But the SD and the Raspberry Pi are the most expensive parts. These are, are twenty dollar joysticks you can get on Amazon. I don't know if I'd recommend these. They have decent reviews, but at the end of the day, as my first iteration, they feel a little on the cheap side. But they're twenty bucks for the whole entire set, and if you know, uh, you can't really tell, but we didn't. They don't have screws. Some the joypad buttons have like screws and screw in and you can basically mount them correctly we just drilled holes and kind of made them work and set them up that way and this is just very cheap plywood this was a usb uh speaker off of old dell i got for free and this is a 15 inch laptop monitor so what i did is basically just made a, a latest version of retro pie i knew i don't know why i did install some nintendo 64 games not that I can't run it, but this is more like for a beat em up or for side scroller games. And you absolutely can plug in a second player. So the controls work pretty smooth. Uh, it has a nice clicking sound of the arcade, of the cabinets and whatnot. So I was going to show off like a fighting beating up game, most likely for you guys. I could show like a Super Nintendo game or something. So, start over there. Super Street Fighter 2. Let's show this. So let's go Super Street Fighter 2. Has a nice click to it. You have like A, B, X, Y, left, right, and then left, right, top buttons. So you're not going to get any analog buttons. But I just kind of play. It plays really smooth, obviously. Super Nintendo. Let's start. Start. Super Battle. Alright. So I'll show you the controls are pretty crisp. Up, up, down, down. And it has a nice click and clack sound. You can also plug in another controller. Uh, we were thinking about maybe building a two-player bar top, but it would be much larger. This is actually really small. You have enough, I have pretty big hands, I'm six foot tall. So you basically have a uh, good size. Mash those buttons. You know how you know you're good? The more you mash. See the Duke. I need to find the punch button. It works. It works really well. But now the main thing is I'm gonna actually show you the the back end. So what we basically did was uh, we actually just used a cutout, a cardboard cutout. I can I'll go ahead and list the measurements. It's just very basic and plywood. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. We can actually turn it. I think here. There we go. So you can kind of see better. We'll start from the top. We'll start from the back. So this is just a 50, This is just a normal USB connector, um, basically monitored after Dell speakers. They're like maybe two dollars, a dollar on Craigslist, super cheap. And then we have a 15-inch monitor from an old broken laptop. You can see there's the connector here. We're using uh, instead of actually directly plugging into the Pi, we're using these are called the HDMI adapter boards. I think they're called L. I'll link it below. I don't know the exact name offhand. Uh, I'll go ahead and link in the video where you can get them. They're actually really cheap. They're they're under uh, they're about thirty bucks. The main reason I like them because you're gonna get HDMI audio. You can do VGA. You can do uh, uh, what is it? DVI. DVI. And you have your audio input jacks already pre-configured. And they basically plug right in. As you see, it's just one little line here goes HDMI. So I can go HDMI from the Raspberry Pi. I don't have to wire anything into the the three prongs. It doesn't require anything too crazy. It's really it's very simplistic, so I like um, simplistic stuff. You are going to pay a little more money for the board itself. Uh, there you go, that's a good shot. And then the controller setup comes with these controllers. As you notice, these don't have screws. They just kind of hug into place. And again, these are the cheaper of the buttons. Again, I'll, I'll link the, the ones. They're $19.99. This is the controller for the joystick. And these are the different buttons. You can basically put them wherever you want. As you see, it's just basic plywood. It's not the best job in the world. The pie is being held together by some double-sided tape. I did leave room. Uh, later on, I might move the pie to put like an SD card here so I can get to the SD and obviously close it off. And then maybe even plug a controller or a second player so we can still use it. So it's just, it's very basic. It's a very basic setup. The only thing that sucks about this 
is this requires its own power supply. So if you notice, it has a power adapter here. So we're running, um, if you guys can see it, we're running two power adapters, one for powering on the monitor and one for powering on the Pi. But it just makes it a little easier. My next reiteration, we're working with my friend, is we're gonna do something with battery power so you can be straight portable. Close it off and put a handle so you can actually transport it. But it's just basic plywood, the $19 controller, the $30 board, and then the $40 Pi. All just, you know, double-sided tape and held in together in the $1 USB speaker. We got the monitor for free. Again, if someone has like a broken laptop and they have like a 15 or 16 inch monitor, it might be cheaper to just buy a broken laptop and reuse the screen than buying a screen like from eBay or Amazon. And it's a good size screen. So we're going to probably make another one. We're gonna, I'm going to throw my old Pi 2 in this and just make it like kind of like a, a beat em up. We were probably going to get like a carbon fiber over overlay and then maybe have our friend who's a real carpenter actually make this. But this was done by my friend who has no carpenter skills. He just used, I mean, it's very basic, it's rough. You know, it's, it's plywood. But it gets the job done and it was, it was 100 bucks for everything. So you really can't complain about the price and it works pretty decent. You know, it's a, it's a interesting first bar top build. And it's just a very basic image. He didn't, he didn't like the, the hyper spin and he didn't want all those menus. He's like, I just want the games. He just wants to play the games. But you could put a track mode on yeah, it. Yeah, you could put it, you could put whatever you want on it. But this is just the one he wanted. Yeah. So this is the bar top. And then on the side, he it was just very basic. It's just screws, black screws on the side. It's actually pretty sturdy for just plywood. You know, he was thinking we were gonna either stain it or probably even rebuild it. This was just kind of like a, a very rough draft. But then you can hide the screws too. Yeah. You can I mean, screw you them could, in and put a little putty on top. Exactly. You can do a lot to it. We did buy overlays, the carbon fiber overlay to kind of put it over. You can also order stickers and like, you know, arcade cabinet style on the ground. But like I said, it's just very basic. This, this is, is the mold. This is the mold we use. I'll go ahead and uh, if you guys are interested, I'll post the measurements online if you guys are looking to do something similar with plywood and we can go from there, so. And if you want to do like a 19 inch screen, you would just make the- It'd make it wider, you just make this wider. This, yeah. will, this will fit, I think, up to- Like a X, 17. Yeah, probably. if you notice, it's kind of bezeled out. It'll fit a much yeah. larger screen. This is so a 15, kind of, right? You can kind of adjust how long you want it. And if you want like more controls, you can make it longer or shorter on the length side. But that's just for the normal button layout, basically. You know, you have your base, your screen and then room for a speaker or whatnot. And so this screen, you actually uh, pulled off the shell of it. Yes. And you just took the screen it's out. It's just the screen out from a laptop, exactly. Yeah, so. It was, a, bro it was a broken laptop, the motherboard was out, the screen was still good. So we got a free screen, kind of worked out pretty nicely. And the screen's great. It looks good, it's crispy. You know, you can't really tell on the camera. I, I th and now that I've seen it, this is the first time I've seen yeah. it, I just want to give a review that you probably want a more powerful speaker. Yeah, the speaker's The speaker really is really garbage. Um, but there's a lot of Bluetooth speakers out there and exactly. portable speakers you can get. Anything like that. Um, but the monitor's decent. I would want something a little bit bigger, but that's not bad. And I'd say the buttons are cool for, for they're fine. For, for 20 bucks, bucks yeah. yeah, they're... they're These are the low end of buttons. This is the yeah. lowest of the low, the cheapest of the cheap you can get. Yeah, and then as far as the plywood, like, I, there's nothing wrong with plywood. No. You know, as long as it's, it's structurally sound. It's solid, like, yeah. Like, I mean, it has a hollow, feel to it, but yeah. I mean, who cares? You're, you're not gonna like throwing it around, you're just gonna be playing. Exactly. It. It's, it's perfect for playing. Yeah, and like you said, it's a budget thing. You could, especially if you have some of this stuff laying around, you could do it for under on the, on the cheap, yeah, on the cheap yeah. for sure. So those interested in the measurements, the uh, horizontal base is 16 inches. We got a three inch uh, lip right here, nine inches till this curve, nine and a half inches. And again, if you want a bigger monitor, you could change this. The, um, this whole area to here, 14 inches, two inches here, one inch here, making a total of three here, three inch lip here, kind of diagonal, and then all the way at the top, three and three quarters inch. I hope you guys like this video. If you're interested in the bar top or have any questions, please, uh, please ask below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video. It really helps us out. And I'll see you guys next time.